here and welcome to part six i do believe the car mechanic simulator i know you haven't really seen these in quite a while I do apologize about that because i've been quite concentrated on the streaming and euro truck because i've got my g27 um if you haven't checked out the euro truck videos please go and check them out because it's now got a logitech webcam in it it looks quite groovy but we're not here for that we are here for car mechanic simulator 2014 so let's get this order on the road so perform test drive repair the steering the steering feels really loose could you check it of course we can check it. So first of all we just gotta go over and perform a test drive. Which should be fun. So here we go. The next bit of the track is where we will test the steering, see how loose it is. Yeah, I can definitely see what he means about the steering. <laughs> So that's the test drive done, let's get in there, take those front wheels off and let's see what's wrong with this steering. Let's have a look at the steering shall we. Right so we're back in the garage, let's have a look at the steering, see what's wrong with this. Let's get them off. So we're just going to take off the track rod in now. Take that off. And now we're going to perform the same thing as we did now. On the opposite side. So we So guys, if you're not wanting to see these videos, please let me know because I won't make them. But if you still want to see these videos, I am happy enough to make them. Just, I haven't made any for it lately because I've been quite busy sorting out my live streaming and stuff like that. Alright, now we've got to lift this up on the ramp. Okay, so it's the power steering rack. I doubt we'll be able to repair that, but it's worth giving it a go. No, I didn't think you'd be able to repair that, because once that's gone, it's gone, really. Car parts, power steering. Past it. Power and steering rack, 1,500. Hopefully, we're getting a good amount of money for this job. So we just load the car back down and now let's just put F assemble everything back together. So we now put the inner tie rod with the track rod end back on. Put the tire back on. Like so. 
gallery. Let's go across and put these bits back on. Put this bit back, put the wheel back on. And hopefully that's it. Might not be. We should have had a look before we put everything back together. Yeah, that's everything. So we've got 3,000 USD for that. Let's take that one out. That's invoice 9. It's only going to be a short part because I don't want to drag these out too long. But I will do more than one job in my next video. But this is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, guys, I hope to see you all in my future videos. If you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers, guys. Thank you.